Welcome students to yet another session of biology in where we are going to talk about process of nutrition and in this video we are going to focus on different processes involved in human nutrition namely ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. But before going to all these five steps, let us just understand process of nutrition. Now we all know what nutrition is and why it is required. So nutrition is a process in which organisms take food for what? For producing energy, for obtaining energy and this energy is required for their growth, for their repair and maintenance, right? Even for reproduction. Now, as we know, nutrition is very important and there are several steps involved in this. So, how many steps are involved over here? There are near about five steps involved in process of nutrition, namely ingestion, then the digestion. After digestion, it goes for absorption, assimilation and finally, ejection. So, we are going to discuss all five steps one by one. First, ingestion. Now, here in ingestion, what do we do? So whenever we are hungry, what do we do? We take food and just put it in our mouth. By doing so, what you are doing? You are actually putting food into your body. It's like fuel inserting, right? So you are putting your fuel. For us, the fuel is what? The food, right? The variety of food, the complex food that we eat gives us energy finally. And to obtain energy, first thing that we have to do is ingest it. So simple, ingestion is what? The process of Taking food into the body is called as ingestion. Now, after ingestion, that means once the food is in our body, it is in our buccal cavity, we are chewing it and then we are pushing it down through our esophagus to our digestive system, right? So, this ingested food is further digested. Now, what do we mean by digesting a food? Now, what kind of food do you eat? You eat variety of food in your plate. There's so many things. You have carbohydrate, fats, roti, rice. All of that is there, right? So all of them are how? They are complex. They are large molecules. Such large molecules are usually insoluble and we cannot utilize them as such. What we have to do for the maximum utilization of food? We have to break them down into simpler and absorbable molecules right so to do so we need a system called as a digestive system where all this digestion process is going on right so here what is happening in digestion simple the complex molecules are broken down into simpler molecules and this simpler molecules we can further utilize for obtaining energy right so what kind of complex molecules are present usually in our food that are broken down into small simple molecules large molecules such as proteins that we take from you know milk meat egg dairy products and so on are broken down into simpler form such as amino acids further we also take fats from ghee oil and such substances right those fats are broken down into simple molecules called as glycerol and fatty acid we also take up carbohydrate in form of bread rotis etc right so here this carbohydrates are large molecules which are of no use to us unless and until they are broken down into simple molecules such as simple sugars right now this amino acid glycerol fatty acids and simple sugars can be utilized by us for generating energy now once this complex molecules are converted into simple molecules what happened to them they are absorbed by us first so where is this happening the digested food is now passing through the intestines right and through this intestine walls now the food the small molecules are absorbed into our blood streams and this process is known as absorption what is the absorption then absorption is nothing but the food is passed through the intestinal wall into the blood stream now this blood can carry this food to all our cells throughout the body so that is what is called as assimilation the blood is carrying all that food that is absorbed from the intestinal wall by the blood is now supplied to each and every cell present in our body and what happens over there in that particular cell in that 
particular cell now we are generating energy from this we are using this energy for repair maintenance and even for cell division and that is called as assimilation so what is assimilation then the process in which the absorbed food is taken by the blood to the cells and in that cell we are now utilizing this food for energy production for repair for maintenance and etc right so utilization of food by each and every cell is nothing but assimilation now as i told you before the food that we eat is really complex and we cannot digest entire food there are many unwanted substances present in our food right because food is a complex material and such undigested food cannot be kept into our system it has to be thrown out right and that process is known as ejection so in ejection what is happening whatever food that we have taken in is digested it in our various digestive organs is finally thrown out the undigested food is now removed from our system it is removed from our body and that process is called as ejection right so that's all about process of nutrition but before leaving recap so we understood here that process of nutrition is of five different step namely ingestion where we take food into our body right so food is taken into our body by the process of ingestion this ingested food is further digested and what is digestion digestion is a process where complex food is broken down into simpler molecules so that we can utilize it now right and this utilization starts from absorption we absorb the digested food from the intestinal wall into the blood stream and further this blood stream passes on all this food material to each and every cell where this food is now getting assimilated what is assimilation assimilation is nothing but utilization of this absorbed and digested food for energy generation for maintenance of our body and cell right so that is assimilation but after all these four steps there are some food particles which are unwanted by our body they are undigested and such food particles has to be thrown out after digestion right and that undigested food material which is taken away from our body which is thrown out of our system is called as ejection so that's all here we complete all five steps of process of nutrition in humans but in our next video we are going to discuss one by one each step with their associated organs in detail so stay tuned with me and thank you for watching to our videos